Hi everyone, Jean-Pierre from TeamTennis.fr, former tennis coach in France. I publish most of my videos on my French channel, from which I give you the link in the description under the video. I sometimes make racket reviews. I made a review of this racket on my French channel and I wanted to make a review in English also. So we are going to talk about this racket. This is a new head racket, uh, the Head Boom version MP. First, I let you watch a part of a training session I did uh, with this racket and then I give you my opinion. See you right now. Okay guys, let's go for this head boom version MP Tennis Warehouse Europe sent me for a demo. By the way, for your tennis equipment, I advise you to go at Tennis Warehouse Europe. I have a partnership with this website and if you live in Europe and if you buy there, it's very nice from you if you use my affiliate link 
so you will help me continue the videos I'm doing on YouTube. You can find my affiliate link in the description under the video. Okay, let's go. Let's talk about this new head racket first. Uh, so among the head racket, uh, the Instinct series is going to disappear. No more head instinct. And now comes the head boom series. I wouldn't say that head boom replaces the head instinct because the rackets are different. So I would just say no more head instinct. And now the head boom appears. So with the head boom version MP, this one, uh, there's going to be also the head boom pro. I will test very soon the head boom pro and maybe some other rackets, maybe later. I don't know. So we are going to focus on this one, which is a, which is a prototype. The final version, uh, which is going to be available in January 2021, will have the same specifications, but the look is going to be different. So we are going to give a look at the specifications of this racket. I start with the weight of the racket and strung 295 grams, which is not very heavy. The balance 31.5 centimeters. The racket is rather headlight, easy to swing. I don't know the swing weight of the racket. The head size. 645 squared centimeters with a string pattern 16 by 19, really versatile combination. Most of the time with such a combination of head size and string pattern, uh, the racket is rather powerful, at least good mix between power control, nice forgiveness and good access to top spin. The beam weights of the racket, so on the head website, the information given is 24 millimeters, but it's obvious when you give a look at the racket that the beam width is different here and here. So I measured uh, the beam width of the racket. I found something like 23, 24 here and 21 millimeter here. It's important because if the racket is uh, thinner here, it's going to influence the flexibility of the frame and finally the power of the racket. Um, I don't know the stiffness of the racket, but I would bet something close to 65 because the racket is not very powerful. I think the flexibility is going to be average. We'll have to check that when the racket is going to be available. Now we are going to give a look at the shape of the frame. It's interesting because it's a bit special. I don't know if you can see it at the video, but the frame is a bit enlarged at the top. So the frame is not round. It is just enlarged in this area. So it's interesting because most of the time we don't perfectly center the ball in the middle of the strings. We tend, uh, tennis players, to hit the ball uh, more in this area, a bit at the top of the frame. So if this area is a bit enlarged, it's going to increase the sweet spot. It can help also for the power given by the racket and it can help also for the access to top spin. So it's interesting to notice uh, this shape for this head boom, a shape a bit like a drop of water, large at the top and it becomes smaller at the bottom. Okay, now the most important, I'm going to talk to you about my feelings on the court when I played with the racket, and I'm going to start with the power. Always very important for tennis players, of course, when you choose a new tennis racket. So first of all, I'm going to show you a comparison on the screen uh, in terms of power with some of the rackets maybe you already know. Don't take the comparison too precisely because it's not easy to make, but it's going to give you an idea. So when I first hit the ball with this racket, I was surprised by the control given by the racket. I expected more power from this racket. So the racket is not very control oriented. It is just that I expected more control from this racket. But it's important to know that for me, uh, this racket is not very powerful. For me, this racket gives an intermediate level of power. On my forehand, it was fine, even if I would need more weight, more stability, but it was fine for the power. Same on the back end, I would need a bit more control for my back end, which is my best shot. Sometimes I really put some power, so it was fine, but I would need more control and also more weight, more stability. On the serve, it was especially bad <laughs> on the training I showed you on the video, because um, this training was close to my return after recovery, after a shoulder surgery. So it was difficult for my shoulder, but not because of the racket. So now if I serve with the racket, with this racket, it's correct. So average level of power. So to conclude, for the power, be careful. The racket is not very powerful. It's not very control oriented. Also, I would say intermediate level of power for this racket. Now concerning my slice backhand, I had some good feelings, good control, no problem for that shot. Uh, concerning the access to top spin, very good. I'm not surprised. 
the shape of the frame a bit rounded at the top it helps for the access to top spin the head size the string pattern everything helps for the access to top spin i would say it's not so far from the head extreme mp it's a bit difficult for me to make a difference in terms of access to top spin between these two rackets but anyway very good access to top spin with this racket so now if we talk about the maneuverability of the racket it was very good the racket is light in addition the racket is head light so the racket is really easy to swing easy to make fast swings and to accelerate the tip of the frame really easy to swing and concerning the stability it is correct not crazy but it's logical because the racket is light so don't expect too much weight at the tip of the frame so i would say stability correct i think some players might feel the need to add some lead tape here and here to increase a bit the swing weight and the stability of the frame to make a comparison with um, a racket which is close to this one the wilson clash 100 i found that this one gives a better stability than the wilson clash very good maneuverability, stability, correct. Now concerning the comfort of the frame, it was fine, no problems, good feelings when I hit the ball, no need to put a vibration dampener to increase the comfort or something like that. It was fine also concerning the tolerance and the forgiveness of the frame, but it's logical when we consider the shape of the frame, a bit enlarged, uh, the head size, the swing pattern, so good comfort, good tolerance. I played with this racket close to my return after shoulder surgery without any problems so it's a good point for the comfort okay now let's summarize for this head boom version mp first i would say that this racket gives an intermediate level of power be careful this racket is not very powerful at the same time it's not very difficult to play with this racket it's not very control oriented i would just say intermediate level of power in my opinion at the same time very good maneuverability easy access to top spin good comfort good forgiveness. This racket makes me think a bit of a mix between the head gravity MP and the head speed MP. The shape of the frame a bit rounded at the top like the gravity MP and the intermediate level of power like the speed MP. A bit like your gravity MP but with more power, more comfort, better access to top spin but with this little control side which is a bit present and a bit like a head speed MP but with more tolerance and a better access to top spin. Okay, so now to conclude, considering the characteristics of this racket that I find rather versatile, I think that this racket can be interesting for many players. I would advise this racket mainly to players with an intermediate level. Why not if you are an advanced player, but be careful because the, ra the racket is light. Personally, a bit too light for me. I would need something a bit heavier, a bit more solid when I hit the ball, but it depends on your feeling. And the same if you are a good beginner, if you feel you are going to improve fast, why not? because it's not too difficult to play with this racket, but I would say mainly to players with an intermediate level, with a versatile game style, and also, of course, with a modern game style, you hit the ball, you put some top spin, it's going to fit your game. Players looking for an easy access to top spin, very good maneuverability, good comfort, and good tolerance. Guys, I stop here for this head boom <laughs> version MP. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. And I see you very soon in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.